Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the booktube newbie tag. I have no idea who started this. On all of them that I've watched, I haven't been able to see. So if you know, let me know, but I couldn't find that information. I decided to do this tag since most of my content on the channel will be related to books in some way. The first question is why did you start this channel? I've been watching booktube for about eight years and I just didn't have the confidence. I touched on this in the other video. I did a podcast a couple of weeks ago and that gave me a little bit more confidence and made me think maybe I should do this. I want a community of books. I don't have very many readers around me in real life. And I really love listening to other people, but I would like to take part in it a little bit more if I can. So two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I think that I would bring the same thing everybody else brings, which is my unique perspective. We all have different life experiences that give us a unique perspective on every book we read. Nobody reads exactly the same book, I don't think. And I do have a lot of life experience. I am 46 years old. I was raised in a Navy family where we traveled a lot. So I've lived a lot of places and I've traveled a lot of places. I've traveled to almost every state in the US, only Alaska, Hawaii, and North Dakota I haven't been to. And I've traveled in Canada, Mexico, and Europe. I got married young and divorced young. I am married again now for almost 20 years. I have two children, I homeschool. I was Mormon, now I am a non-denominational Christian. So I have a lot of different perspectives and different things that I think I come to the table with. Uh, what are, am I most excited about? for this new channel. I am most excited about trying to build a community, maybe getting to know some of the people that I've watched for a long time, maybe you know, finding new people, and just having people that love books or homeschooling or other things that I love and people to talk to about that, those things. Number four, why do you love reading? I love that I can just step into someone else's life. You learn so much about people and different countries and different time periods from books that you just can't learn any other way. I know even with my own daughters, with homeschooling them, they have learned so much more about history from our read-alouds than they have from their curriculum. And we use really good curriculum, but the books always stick more. And so I love that about books. I just love how they transport us to other times and places and people. Number five, what book series got you into reading? I actually have some with me. My mom read to us when we were little and she read this copy of Little Women. It's exact copy. I, she bought a new one, so I asked her for it and it has pictures and it's just, it's so fun. And so she read that to me when I was really little. And then of course, Anna Green Gables. And this, I have new copies now, but this is my very first copy of Anna Green Gables. It was a movie tie-in as you can see, and it's falling apart, it's taped taped together there and it's very yellowed and stained and disgusting, which is why I have new copies. But the Anna Green Gables book came to me in third grade and it has been a part of me ever since. I also really loved at that age, West, the Westing game. And there was a nonfiction adult book called The Family That Nobody Wanted about a, I think he was a pastor. I haven't read it for a long time. Pastor and his wife that ended up adopting a bunch of children and I really loved that. And I loved the Archie comic books. And so I kind of, it was third and fourth grade is really when it picked up for me. I don't remember. I know one of the questions in here was, when did you start reading? So I will skip that when I get to it. When did you start reading? I don't remember when I started reading. I just remember being read to and then I remember reading and I don't remember when it started, but it really kicked off in third and fourth grade for me. And then I've been a reader ever since. The next one, uh, number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? What advice would you give to a person who is trying to find a place on YouTube? What things would you not do if you were starting now? Number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? Probably doing it, sitting down right now and talking to the camera and not being too self-conscious. And then of course, making the time for it. Uh, so I already asked when I started reading. Number nine, where do you read? I read everywhere except not in public very much. I know some people do. I have a really hard time reading in public. I get very distracted by other people and noises and scents and whatever's going on around me when I'm in public. So I can sometimes, but not as well. So usually I read in 
our schoolroom, I have a chair that I sit in when I'm reading aloud to the girls during school. So sometimes I'll sit in there and read. I read in our family room on the couch. I read in my bedroom. I just kind of read wherever I feel like being at the moment. Right now, my husband's finishing our basement. And so his office is in our dining room area. And that's where I have most of my bookshelves. Our, my bookshelves are kind of spread throughout my bedroom, the school room, and the dining room next to his desk right now. So when he finishes and moves his office down there, I'm hoping to make a library in our dining room, kind of a nook, it's right off the kitchen, but I'm hoping to make a library there. So then I would be in there the most, hopefully. Number 10, what kinds of books do you read? My favorites are classics and I really love middle grade. Um, I love middle grade fantasy. I love middle grade mystery. I love the wholesomeness of children's and middle grade books. I love the wholesomeness of classics. I don't like gratuitous violence. I don't like excessive goriness or swearing. I don't like romance when it's open door. I, I like my books to be pretty wholesome and things that I could pass on to my daughters. Some aren't gonna be age appropriate, obviously, with like, I love Dracula, but I wouldn't hand that to my 17 year old yet because she's more sensitive than I am with that kind of things. We really love the Vanderbeekers as a family. That's been something where we just got the new book and are starting to read that. We, I love, I love Agatha Christie. I love World War II. I love epistolary novels. I love books about books. I love Regency romances. Some of them are too cheesy, but I found a few authors the last year that I've enjoyed. Uh, some Christian fiction, nonfiction. I, I, I really do read pretty widely. My favorites tend to be the Lucy Montgomery, Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Pill Pie Society. Those are some of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites, but as, as you all know, as readers know, it's hard to pick favorites. I hope to make a lot of bookish content on here and join in on readathons and share my favorite read-alouds we're doing in homeschool, share my favorite picture books and share my reading that I do every month.